Hey, hey, podcast. Welcome back. This is going to be part three. Um, I just did two parts to the power of intentional thinking. So if you've missed part one and part two, pause this right now. Go back and check those out if you have some time and then hop back on to this one. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and, and giving some feedback and, and really expressing how this is helping continue to move you forward. That is always the goal for the Mental Fitness Matters show and the Mental Fitness Matters community. We want to become and be the best versions of ourselves. And I think a big component of that is getting our mental fitness in order so that we can face and really just interact and do what we need to do as things show up. Um, so thank you again for tuning in. And this is going to be part three, which is going to be me really kind of expounding more on that second tip that I gave in part one, which is about owning your mornings. So we talked about the power of intentional thinking, right? We talked about the difference between a goal and being intentional. Um, goals are more future, get that longer duration to the place, and then intentions are what you can do right now in the present moment to own your energy. Um, and one tool and one tip that I gave, a practical way you can begin to do that, is not to discount the, or discredit the power of your choices, the choices that you have in your thinking. You get to choose your thought. You choose. You decide. So that was number one. That was on episode two or part two. Um, part three, we're going to talk about that next tool that I gave briefly, which was about owning your mornings. So if you're tuning in for the very first time, I am a licensed clinical mental health therapist. I'm also board certified in bio and neurofeedback, which are alternative ways to treat things like anxiety, stress, to improve attention and focus. Um, help with traumatic brain injuries, things of that nature, uh, without the use of medications a lot of times. So the, the things that I do on a daily basis, the things that I'm involved in, we look a lot at the brain's activity, the brain's activity and ability and the brain's power. So a lot of times we're starting our clients off with brain mapping, which looks at over 19 different areas of their brain. So we can see levels of thinking and processing, anxiety, stress, and memory, um, we can see the flexibility and where people may get stuck. Um, so I talk a lot about the brain's performance. So when I mention this next tool that you guys can begin to use is really about owning your morning is because I know that our brain goes through states or we have different brain activity depending on uh, what we're doing for the day. So for example, and I won't give you a course on this, that's a whole nother thing. Just wanna give you a little bit of background so that as I talk about how to own your morning and the importance of doing the tool that I'm gonna teach you, you'll have a little bit more connection to why you're doing what it is that I'm gonna ask you to do. Um, so our brain goes through different states um, depending on what we need to be doing. Right now, I'm really focused, I'm engaged in having this conversation with you. So if I was recording my brain's activity, I would be more of a, in a beta state. Um, I'm focused, I'm alert, I'm processing, I'm thinking. Um, so our brain goes through different states to focus. Our brain enters and accesses another state to be more relaxed and calm. Our brain enters a state for us to kind of be more creative. Our brain also enters a state for us to be able to sleep and have a good quality and restorative sleep. Our brain and body also enter a state if we have to be on hyper alert, if we're having to respond quickly to a crisis or something going on, our brain and body also goes to a state then. So you're constantly going through mental states all throughout your day. And so depending on the mental state that you're in, um, you're going to kind of feel a certain way depending on the functioning of your brain's ability. So for example, if you're just wanting to relax, and be very, very calm, but you feel really kind of hyper and agitated or something moving really, really fast all the time, that's going to not feel so good. So maybe you're wanting to be in what's called an alpha state, which is really optimal. It's calm, it's relaxing, it's reflective. It's right there in the middle. You can go or you can relax or you can just kind of be in the middle. You want to be an alpha, but you feel like your thoughts are racing all over the place. You're in the beta zones, your, your th thoughts are racing and, and moving all over the place. You want it to be one place, but your brain is, is feeling like it's somewhere else. So that's an example of your brain flowing through states. What I do from a professional standpoint is help show people that information using technology, and we help train their brain to access the states that are most healthy and optimal for what you need. 
So if you need to be focused and engaged, if you need to perform at a peak level, we're able to show you kind of where you are, but also help you access the zones to get to where you want to be. So when I tell you about another tool that can help you become very intentional about how you start your day and also about how you control your thoughts, owning your morning is a big part of this puzzle. Because in the morning and when we're first waking up, our brain enters a very, very amazing state of being. We go through cycles of sleep, but we go through a cycle when we're waking up and you travel, your brain travels through what's called an alpha theta state. So remember, I said that alpha wave is more about being more in a relaxed kind of state. It's not too high, not too low. It's right there in the middle. Our ability to kind of just power down and relax. Theta is a slower brain wave. So you're not all the way asleep. You're more in a kind of a dream-like state, but it's a creative, intuitive state. Um, so when you're first waking up, your brain is coming up out of delta, which is fully sleep, and you're asleep, but you got to come up through that. So you go from delta, then you go to al uh, theta, and then you go to alpha. This alpha theta coming up into the theta alpha brainwave state is very powerful. And a lot of times, if you don't know this, if you've never heard this, when you're coming up in and out of that state, that is one of the most important times to use your brain's energy and allow it to just flow and create. Allow your brain to just do what it naturally wants to do, be creative and expand. So I tell people when I'm giving you this tool about owning your morning, I mean owning this state of being, owning your brain's natural processing of this theta and alpha energy, owning that and taking advantage of this moment. A lot of times what happens, your alarm may go off. If you're somebody who picks up your phone right away to see what you've missed the night before, or go back through and scroll Instagram, or the first thing you do is turn on the TV so that you can catch up on the latest news or your latest shows or whatever it is, a lot of times we don't recognize that there is a powerful place and state that we're in um, that is very receptive to whatever we're dumping in it. So if you're one that normally picks up your phone really quickly and gets to your to-do list, um, or scrolling through what you've missed or planning out what's got to go on for your day, you're taking on an energy and a, a thought process that may not be as helpful as it needs to be for you. So you're taking on the energetic tone of outside and external things, which is going to have an impact on how you feel and how you start your day. So when I say own your morning, I want you to become very intentional about, you know, the, the first 20 minutes of my day is mine. Meaning the first 20 minutes of my day, I'm not going to turn on the TV. I'm not going to pick up my phone and scroll through social media. I'm not going to check my emails. I'm not going to go out and start breakfast for somebody. I'm going to block out 20 minutes of my morning where I just get to sit and allow myself to be very intentional about what it is that I want to have happen for my day. I, like, I take my time in my 20 minutes where I just listen to a background noise and allow myself to just kind of get in that energy and vibration. I don't really do much of uh, the guided type meditations in this point of my day. I really just allow a sound, whether it's a white noise machine or a fan sound. I kind of let that play and I try to allow my brain to chase that thought early in the morning. So that way it kind of just neutralizes my vibration and my energy. I stay in that place to kind of quiet my mind. But I would encourage you to take 15 to 20 minutes, the very first part of your day, Use that for your meditation, for your prayer, but really using that as more of a time to allow your brain to just be. This could be a place where whatever the feelings are that you want to bring up for yourself that make you feel better, make you feel good, make you feel happy, make you feel inspired, make you feel creative and joyful. Allow this 15, 20 minutes just to be a time where you allow yourself to just be. Put something on quiet in the background. Listen to that sound. It needs to be a consistent sound, so not music that kind of takes you all over the place, but a tone or a sound that just stays constant and remains the same. Allow your mind to kind of just follow that pattern. 15 to 20 minutes. It's going to go off track. That's okay. Don't judge yourself. Bring yourself back to the sound. Bring yourself back to that noise. Become very intentional about trying to quiet your mind and protect your mind the first 20 minutes. And after you've allowed that to happen, you can begin your day. But there's so much power in starting your day in a place of control, starting your brain in a place of receiving something that's going to feed you and make you feel better. If you're somebody who listens to guided meditation and you like going on those journeys, if it's positive, it makes you feel good, do that. 
whatever you need to do, allowing the first 15 or 20 minutes of your day to be something that inspires you and makes you feel good, but doesn't require your brain to do much work. You don't need something that's going to kind of take you off on a tangent. You're going to have to think about and makes you want to go and start a new project. No, you want to be in a place in a space that just allows you to feel good, allows you to feel calm, allows you to feel at peace. If you have something that you've been really excited about, get in the energy of that. I'm excited about seeing this thing come to life. I don't have to really know how it's coming to life, but when it comes to life, I can't wait to experience it, to feel it, to be in the joy of it, to be in the midst in the moment of it. I can't wait to connect with people that are like-minded so that we can kind of create and expand together. I can't wait for whatever it is. Bring it up as energy that you're excited about feeling. You don't need to solve problems here. The point of this 15 to 20 minutes is not to go on a problem solving rant because a lot of times that creates more stress and resistance because you're not sure how to solve the problem yet. You just want to stay in the energy and the feeling of how good it's going to feel as these things unfold for you. That's the trick. You stay in the energy of how good it's going to feel, how great it feels to be wherever that place is that you want to be. Not the other stuff of having to work it out. You want to use the 15 minutes of your brain's energy and creativity as a place of feeling good, feeling calm, feeling at peace. So own your morning, okay? That's just really kind of part two of, well now it's part three of this, the power of intentional thinking. Number one, don't underestimate the power you have in your choices. Number two is owning your mornings. Give yourself, guys, 15 to 20, give yourself 20 minutes a morning, 20 minutes a morning. If you're somebody who's saying, you know what, I already have so much to do. I don't know if I have an extra time. I want all the sleep that I can get. I want to wake up earlier. I'm telling you now, wake up earlier, because if you normally wake up at seven, set your alarm for 630. Do not put yourself off. Make yourself priority. This is for you. This is part of your self-care because it's going to allow you that when you go out, you're going to be better. You're going to have more to offer to the people that you're serving. And you're going to notice that you're not as tired as you think you are. A lot of that fatigue is not necessarily coming from, I'm not getting enough sleep. It could be the quality of your sleep habits. But the more you're training and conditioning your brain in this way, you're going to notice that you're sleeping better. Your dreams are becoming more visual and clear. There's so many benefits. I can go on and on and on. But for the purposes of this episode right now, I just need you to own your morning. Take 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, block that time off, cut off everything around you and just be. Try to get into a place of silence and quiet. Turn on just a background noise, white noise, a fan of some sort that keeps the same tone and energy the whole way through and follow that. Follow that. Allow your brain to follow that. You're going to feel some tingling sensations as your, as your energy and your, you begin to rise up vibrationally. You're going to feel yourself just kind of floating and getting lighter. And if you don't feel that, that's okay. And if you get sidetracked and get distracted, that's okay. Just give yourself permission for 15 or 20 minutes to just be. Do this over and over again. Give yourself at least two weeks to just do this practice over and over again. And just watch what you feel. And what I, want to, I want to know what you feel. Make sure you follow up, leave some feedback. Let me know how that's working for you. Let me know what you're seeing in your, in your day. If you're more control over your feelings and your emotions, if you're able to kind of show up and be, feel like things just kind of naturally begin to work out for you. Do you feel like you have more energy or you're more positive? Start to look for the subtleties and the changes that you're going to feel after you experience something like this. Don't go into this thing or this 15 to 20 minutes thinking that you got to do something. Just be. Allow yourself to be. So you don't have to walk out of this 20 minutes saying that didn't work for me. The only thing that's supposed to be working for you is allowing yourself to be in this moment, giving yourself 20 minutes. There's no failing here. There's no failing. If you show up for yourself for 20 minutes a day, first thing in the morning, allowing your brain to access and tap into the sound that's in the background, paying intentional focus to that, bringing yourself back when you go off track, you're going to notice that over time, you're going to feel different. People will experience you different. And all of the ideas and the and creative pieces of who you are will come out. You will no longer be taken over by the external factors of the world. You'll be able to know how to go on the inside and get exactly and hear exactly what it is that you need because you do have the answers in there. We seek so much for outside approval. 
that what we fail to recognize is the answers in here. It's just so loud we can't hear it. So the benefit of getting quiet allows you to really get closer and more connected to who you are and who you've been called to be. It allows you to hear the message clearly, but we can't hear with all the noise. We can't hear with all the noise. And a lot of times we're hijacked with all the noise right when we wake up and don't even realize it. You're upset, you're frustrated, you're angry, you're anxious because of what's going on around you that you are not sure how to block out. But that's why when we look at elite athletes or people who are performing at a top level, they've learned to master their minds. They've learned how to get quiet here and perform like they were called to perform. A lot of times people see that as them transforming into something. That's really them getting aligned with who they are. That transformation looks so like, oh my gosh, how did they get into this zone? Where is that zone? That zone is alignment. That zone is be you being connected to who you are. But you have a hard time connecting because you never plug it in. You never plug yourself in. Your battery is being depleted every single day. And we forget to put ourselves on the charger. So how are you supposed to get something out of that's never been plugged in? So guys, this is a way for you to do some self-care you doing your 20 minutes a day, every single morning, it's just like you putting yourself on the charger. It's charging yourself up, charging yourself up, refueling your battery, refueling your battery so that you can go out and be for a duration of time. Not just for a moment, not just for a moment. This will become your new state of who just being, okay? So hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed that, if somebody that you know needs to hear that, share the message. Mental Fitness Matters community. We are all part of this community. We are supposed to be working on ourselves so that as we go out into the world, we can spread this message, we can spread this time, we can spread this experience to somebody else. And it becomes this domino effect that I'm being intentional, you're being intentional, and we're sharing in this intention. And it's powerful. It's magic. It's magic. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about what you feel from this. I'm excited about uh, what you share from this. I'm excited about what you create from this. I'm excited about you spending time with you so that you can continue to, to be all of who you are. Let that light shine bright. I want my Mental Fitness Matters community to go out and shine like the stars that we are. The stars that we are. I can't wait to see you guys on the next time. Continue to spread this message. And if you haven't done so already, go to the, the podcast platform, whatever you're listening to this on. You may be watching YouTube right now, but if you're a podcast listener, Go to iTunes, Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, whatever that listening platform is. And if you're not on a podcast, hop on there. Go to my podcast, Mental Fitness Matters, and hit subscribe and leave some feedback. And I can't wait to see you soon. Shine bright, community. Keep shining.